Hi there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. In this video, I'm going to be making my fourth card using the Fresh and Fruity stamp set by Reverse Confetti. It's a super fun set. I've made a card for my blog for Stamp Nation for Reverse Confetti, and now another one for my blog. We're going to be using a couple techniques. One called Joseph's Coat. It involves clear embossing, and it's been around for ages. And then some ironing. I don't use that iron for anything else. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I invite you to do so, and I'm ready to get stamping. First thing I'm gonna do is take my pistachio and my pear tart memento ink pads, and I'm gonna go direct to paper with them, and I'm gonna color this whole piece of white cardstock. This is five and a half by four. Now the next step is to take my deactivator tool because I want to make sure that my embossing powder when I add it is not going to stick to places that I don't want it. And then I'm going to take my Versamark ink pad, that's eh, a little dirty here, that's alright, and I'm going to stamp these little oval lines on the background and you can't really see my Versamark image very well so hopefully I won't stamp over the top of them. If I look at it kind of sideways, I can see them. I'm going in a random pattern, changing the direction of my stamp each time, and also stamping off of the paper. This gives the idea or illusion that it was a piece of printed paper that I just cut. I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper. Eva has been getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> do your kids, or do you do the booing in the neighborhood where you make a treat bag and the kids go and basically do ding dong ditch with it? <laughs> they leave it on the porch, ring the doorbell and run. <laughs> That's been going on in our neighborhood for a few years now, it's pretty funny. Next I'm just using my heat tool to heat emboss these and when they turn shiny, you know they're done. I'm going to use this Memento Black ink pad and rub over the top of my stamped and embossed piece. And I'm using Eva's little um, boo paper, but don't worry. She did another one, so I'm not wrecking her masterpiece. <laughs> and you can see that the embossed limes are resisting the ink and they're going to stay green. And if I didn't use this paper, I could just use it, I could do this just straight onto my craft sheet and it would be fine. I just was feeling lazy and didn't, didn't want to um, <laughs> have to go then clean it. So, And then I'm just using a sponge. I want to get that excess black off of the embossing powder. So I'm just going to wet it a little bit and continue to rub and make sure I can get off as much of that powder as I possibly can. I'm now going to do an additional step. You can take an iron and you can just rub it over and then the embossing powder will melt and it will get trapped right onto that scrap paper. So ironing off the embossing powder uh, worked pretty well and we have these really fun limes that are shaded because of that under color and I think it just pops. So it's really fun accent piece to add to your card. Now I'm going to stamp some limes and leaves and then I'll be able to cut them out with the matching coordinating die cut set. So we'll ink up this lime and then I'm just going to add a little bit of shading and dimension on the side just by inking up just the one edge. That's a little bit more than I wanted because I want this to be a limey color. So I'm just gonna do it again and just do less this time. Hopefully this will be better. Ah, there we go, that's better. <laughs> and then I need some leaves. So I'm gonna start with the pear tart and I don't want it to match this lime so I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of around the edges, add that darker green. And I'll do the same thing for this little polka dotted one. And then I will take these over to my Big Shot and punch them out. 
the lime and the leaves cut out like a dream and I have to have a frosted sparkly lime I don't know about you but that just makes me happy <laughs> so I'm gonna cover it with this stickles it's frosted lace and uh, I'm adding quite a thick coating on here because I'm trying to get it all spread out. But if I use my finger, I bet I can do a good job there. There, a frosted sparkly lime. And then I can just add the leaves right on top and let it dry. Basically using the stickles like a little bit of glue. I decided I wanted a little less of this showing on the card, so I just cut it down a little more. And I'm going to add the greeting. I'm stamping with Memento Black. We use a little liquid glue to adhere this layer straight to the card front. I'm feeling like I want a little bit more accenting down here. So I just have a really teensy little strip. It's about an eighth or, yeah, an eighth of an inch. And I'll just take my Pear Tart and color that strip. It's not going to be solid and perfect, and that's okay. It's going to add more interest and texture to the card. Teensy bit of this liquid glue. Now you guys can see how impatient I am. <laughs> this lime is not quite dry yet, but it's going on there anyway. And then I'll have to add a few sequins. I'm going to add some large and some small from Pretty Pink Posh. Just the sparkling clear little mono Tombow glue to tear those down. I may have gone a little overboard with the sequins, I don't know. And maybe this is the point where I need to stop also, but I'm not going to. I'm taking the Pico embellisher and I'm just going to add a couple little polka dots along the border here. Just another little way to define and add some interest. So that's it. This Pico embellisher it has this cool little top that just slides right in there and so you won't get clogged. Mine is bent because um, maybe it's for my impatientness and that's why I have a bent Pico embellisher thing now. But anyway, but it's pretty easy to use. Just uh, make sure you tap out all the air bubbles before you get going or else you're going to find yourself in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Be sure to check out Stamp Nation. I'll leave the link right here so you can check it out. We hope you'll join us. I guess that's it. Have a great day.